Hey guys and welcome back to Doctor Who. This is the final episode of series three and of course I'm excited. We left the last episode in such a devastatingly interesting way that I just cannot even begin to imagine how they're going to get out of this mess. So I'm really looking forward to it but I'm also at the same time sad if I could use that word to be ending another series, series three, so quickly, but then also genuinely excited for series four too. They just seem to go by so quick and I I'm, I'm loving it. I love it so, so much. Cannot wait to watch this one. I think I'm ready. I hope so. Let's watch. Space lane traffic is advised to stay away from Sol 3, also known as Earth. Sol 3 is now entering terminal extinction. Planet Earth is closed. Earth is closed. <gasps> One year later, what? They couldn't fix it? Well, that's different to what I expected. Whoa! What's your name then? Tom. No need to ask who you are. Famous Martha Jones. <gasps> How long since you were last in Britain? 365 days. This Professor Doherty, I need to see her. There's a lot of people depending on you. You're a bit of a legend. What does the legend say? They sail the Atlantic, walked across America, that you're the only person to get out of Japan alive. Martha Jones, you say, she's going to save the world. <sighs> a bit late for that. How come you can drive? Medical stuff. I'm traveling with a doctor. <laughs> Another one. The story goes that you're the only person on Earth who can kill him, that you and you alone can kill the Master Stone dead. Let's just drive. Wow. I thought we would pick up where we left off. Your Lord and Master stands on high, playing a track three. <laughs> Gosh, I cannot believe this. <gasps> oh, he lives in a tent with a dog ball. <gasps> oh, no. It's ready to rise, Doctor. The new Time Lord Empire. It's anything? No? Anything? Oh, but they broke your heart, didn't they? Ever since you worked out what they really are. They say Martha Jones has come back home. Leave her alone. You said something to her, didn't you? On the day I took control. What did you tell her? I have one thing to say to you. Oh! No, you don't. Citizens rejoice. Come on, wow. people, what are we doing? What's he up to? That's a secret code. Oh, yes. I love it. More to test. Ah, smell that scare. Oh. The code, the code, the code. The entire south coast of England. Converted into shipyards, bringing slave labor every morning, building the fleet out of scrap. Identify oh, yes. little man. Thomas Milligan, peripatetic medical squad. Soon the rockets will fly, and everyone will need medicine. Oh no! You will be so busy. Oh, I thought they would just kill him. They didn't see you. How do you think I traveled the world? Uh, yes. Is there a Mrs. Milligan? No. <laughs> no. What about you? There used to be someone. Time ago. Come on, I've got to find this dockety woman. What time is it now? It's nearly three o'clock. What's their plan? They must have been planning this for so long. At three o'clock, yeah. Time for my massage. Who should I have today? Tanya, when we go to the start. 3 p.m. massage every day then. Okay, right on time. Oh. Has he been working on that for so long? Trying to get that on. I have one thing to say. It won't work. <laughs> it won't work. It was probably a one time use. Uh, oh, here we go again. <laughs> Isomorphic controls. They only work for me. Like this. Did you learn anything from the blessed Saint Martha? Siding with the Doctor is a very dangerous thing to do. There you go, Gramps. I remember the days when the Doctor was waging time war. Look at him now, 
stealing screwdrivers. Need you to listen. No, it's my turn. Revenge. Best served hot. And this time, it's a message for Miss Jones. Does he know that Martha is there? Professor Doherty? Is he? But we've been told there's going to be a transmission from the man himself. My people, salutations. But I know there's all sorts of whispers, stories of a child walking the earth, giving you hope. Martha. But I ask you, how much hope has this man got? Say hello, Gandalf. What if I suspend your capacity to regenerate? <gasps> all 900 years of your life, what if we could see them? this guy doctor what what where is he oh my god what received and understood miss jones i'm sorry the doctor's still alive no one's been able to look at a sphere closer except once the lightning strike in south africa brought one of them down i've got the readings on this so is that why you traveled the world to find a disc just got lucky. I heard stories that you walked the earth to find a way to build a weapon. <gasps> Current 58.5 kiloamperes transfer a charge of 510 megajoules. All right then, Dr. Milligan. They're gonna get us a sphere. Oh no, this is dangerous. <laughs> oh, no. You ready? Do your job, I'll do mine. Okay, so that's been incapacitated. Let's find out what's inside. Oh, yes. Oh, no, this is not I'm happening. Kill him. If I have to wait a hundred years, I'm going to kill the master. That's my job. I swear to you, I'd shoot that man stone dead. I'll get him, even if it kills me. So many want him gone. We're opening up a rift. Kind of scary. Then stop. Once the Empire is established and there's a new Gallifrey in the heavens, maybe then it stops. The drumming, the never-ending drumbeat. Ever since I was a child, I looked into the vortex. That's when it chose me. Can't you hear it? Listen, it's there now, right now. Tell me you can hear it, Doctor. It's only you. Tomorrow the war. I'm doing it for them. You should be grateful. You love them so very, very much. Is he saying that the doctor loves this toclophane? Or, or what's inside of it? It's a face. Martha. Martha Jones. You helped us to fly. Who are you? The skies are made of diamonds. The skies are made of diamonds. <gasps> you sent him to Utopia. Martha, tell us, what are they? They're us. They're humans, the human race from the future. I took Lucy to Utopia, a Time Lord and his human companion. Tell him what you saw. Everything dying, and I thought, there's no point, not ever. And it's all your fault. Because the Doctor said, on the day before the Master came to power, he said... You can only travel between the year 100 trillion and the last place the TARDIS land. The Master had the TARDIS, this time machine, but the only other place he could go was the end of the universe, so he found Utopia. Right, okay. The Utopia project was the last hope. There was no solution, just the dark and the cold. They cannibalized themselves. We made ourselves so pretty. The universe was collapsing around them. But then the Master came with his wonderful time machine to bring us back home. But that's a paradox. If you're the future of the human race and you've come back to murder your ancestors, you should cancel yourselves out. Yes. You shouldn't exist. Yes. And that's the paradox machine. Yes. <laughs> My masterpiece, wow. Doctor. We are changing history. I'm a Time Lord. I have that right. I come all this way just to destroy. We come backwards in time, all to build a brand new empire, lasting 100 trillion years. With me as their master. We're the same species. Why do you kill so many of us? Because it's fun. <laughs> what? It's fun? Human race, greatest monsters of them all. I didn't expect that. I haven't. <laughs> this is just taking me by surprise, all of it. Legend says you've traveled the world to find a way of killing the master. Just before I escaped, the doctor told me. What? What? This unit and Torchwood, all studying Time Lords in secret. And they made this the ultimate defense. They can regenerate, literally bring themselves back to life. Except for this. 
Four chemicals slotted into the gun inject him, kills a Time Lord permanently. Whoa. Four chemicals? You've only got three. Still need the last one, because the components of this gun were kept safe, scattered across the world, and I found them. Then where is it? There's an old unit base, North London. Professor, thank you. Good luck. Thanks. Martha, could you do it? Could you actually kill him? Yes. Got no choice. You will. It might be many things, but you don't look like a killer to me. I love that look on her face then. She has to. She doesn't have a choice. She has to do it. Oh, that's amazing. Where's Darwin? All we've got is water. It's cheaper than building barracks. Pack them in, 100 in each house. Ferry them off to the shipyards every morning. Are you Martha Jones? Yeah, that's me. Can you do it? Can you kill her? Please, tell us you can do it. Oh, everyone's questioning her about that. They want me to talk, and I will. Yeah. Oh, why do we have a funny feeling about this lady? Oh. Access priority one. State your intent. Oh, no. First of all, I need to know about my son. Is my son still alive? State your intent. I have some information for the master. No. Concerning Martha Jones. You can tell that she doesn't want to, to say that, but she has to for her son. Guess what? I travelled across the world. Everywhere I went, I saw people just like you, living as slaves. But if Martha Jones became a legend, and that's wrong, because my name isn't important, there's someone else. The man who told me to walk the earth. And his name is the Doctor. He has saved your lives so many times, and you never even knew he was there. He never asks to be thanked. I know him. I love him. And I know what he can do. It's him. Oh, my God, it's him. It's the master. He's here. <gasps> to earth. He never walks upon the ground. Right. Oh, Lord and Master. Martha! I can see you! Come and meet your master. I hate him. I hate him. Nobody? No? Nothing? It's, he'll just destroy all Positions. the buildings. Just to get her out. I'll give the order, unless you surrender. What would the doctor do? The doctor wouldn't let anyone die. <sighs> now it just seems pointless. Everything was pointless. Can he go and get that final component for the gun? Good girl. He trained you well. Give me the bag. Whoa. And now, good companion, your work is done. Oh, oh. But that's just a regular gun. That can't do anything. But you, when you die, the doctor should be witness. Hmm? Almost dawn, Martha, and planet Earth. Marches to war. Well, what are they going to do? How are they going to get that last thing for the gun, that last component? The teleport device. This is not the end of Martha, please. Neil. Down below, fleet is ready to launch. Are we ready? The fleet awaits your signal. Three minutes to align the black hole converters. Counting down. My children, are you ready? We will fly in blazing slice. At zero, to mark this day, the child Martha Jones will die. No, no, please. You had companions who could absorb the time vortex. This one's useless. From this Hang day on. forward. <laughs> She's got something planned. What's so funny? <gasps> A gun in four parts. Yes. And I destroyed it. A gun in four parts scattered across the world. I mean, did you really believe that? As if I would ask her to kill. But I knew what Professor Doherty would do. The Resistance knew about her son. That's why I came to find you, know your enemy. <gasps> I told her about the gun so she could get me here. But you're still gonna die. Don't you want to know what I was doing? Tell me. I told a story. No weapons, just words. <sighs> and everywhere I went, I found the people and I told them my story. I told them to pass it on. Faith and hope. Is that all? No, because I gave them an instruction. Use the countdown. <gasps> I told them that if everyone thinks of one word at one specific time... Is that your weapon? Prayer. Right across the world. <gasps> one word, just one thought, but with 15 satellites. The Archangel Network. A telepathic field binding the whole human race together with all of them thinking the same thing at the same time. And that word is Doctor. <laughs> Matrices. This is so beautiful. Doctor, doctor, doctor. 
<laughs> One thing you can't do, stop them thinking. Tell me the human race is degenerate now when they can do this. Oh, wow. Well, that's amazing. No! I'm so sorry. <laughs> then I'll kill them. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> you can't do this. And you know what happens now. No! No! You wouldn't listen. I forgive you. My children. The paradox. The paradox machine. You men, with me. Oh! It ends. I knew it was too easy. We've got control of the valley, and you can't launch. Oh, but I've got this black hole converter inside every ship. If I can't have this world, oh. Doctor, then neither can no you. No way. It's not enough, is it? They will get slaughtered. Yeah, happens to me a lot. <laughs> He's such a hero. Weapon after weapon after weapon. All you do is talk and talk and talk. But over all these years and all these disasters, I've always had the greatest secret of them all. I know you. Explode those ships, you kill yourself. That's the one thing you could never do. Mm. Yeah. Give that to me. Amazing. Unless it was just a bluff. Oh. Hey. Get down. <laughs> Time is reversing. That's <laughs> amazing. Oh no, get it. No, 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 no. Martha's mum is gonna grab that gun <laughs> wow okay so time is reversing right in front of everyone going back when one year or more back to normal yep paradox is broken we've reverted back one year one day two minutes past eight in the morning just after the president was killed but just before the spheres arrived none of it happened what about the spheres trapped at the end of the universe but i can remember it we're at the eye of the storm the only ones who'll ever know Oh, hello. You must be Mr. Jones. We haven't actually met. Whoa, big fella. Mm -hmm. Cuffs. So, what do we do with this one? We kill him. No, that's not the solution. Oh, I think so. It won't. He'll just... Won't he just regenerate? Because all those things, they still happened because of him. Go on. Do it. No, don't do it. You're better than him. <laughs> what happens to me? You're my responsibility from now on. The only Time Lord left in existence. Yeah, but you can't trust him. No. no. The only safe place for him is the TARDIS. You mean you're just gonna Prisoner. keep me? Prisoner. Mm. It's time to change. Maybe I've been wandering for too long. Now I've got someone to care for. <gasps> oh! Put it down. There you go. I've got you. He'll just regenerate. Always oh, the women. I didn't see her. Dying in your arms. You're not dying, don't be stupid. It's only a bullet. Just regenerate. No. One little bullet. Come on. I refuse. Regenerate. Just regenerate. Please! Just regenerate. Come on. I'll spend the rest of my life imprisoned with you. You've got to. Come on. We can't end like this. You and me, all the things we've done, we're the only two left. And no one else. Regenerate! How about that? I win. Will it stop, Doctor? It's drumming. being what he was and what he did at least the doctor wasn't alone and now he's back to being alone just to say i don't blame you but who are you <laughs> oh that's so funny that's cute every single one of these people knew your name now they've all forgotten you good back to work <laughs> i really don't mind though come with me I had plenty of time to think that past year a year that never was and I kept thinking about that team of mine. Like you said, Doctor, responsibility. Defending the Earth. Can't argue with that. Will I ever be able to die? Nothing I can do. You're an impossible thing, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> Been called that before. Sir? Ma'am? But I keep wondering, what about aging? Because I can't die, but I keep getting older. 
What happens if I live for a million years? <laughs> I really don't know. Okay, vanity, sorry. Can't help it. <laughs> Used to be a poster boy when I was a kid living in the Beauchene Peninsula. Tiny little place. The face of Bo, they called me. <laughs> I'll see you. Can't be. Definitely not, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no <way>. <laughs> 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 I'm looking for Dr. Thomas Milligan. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Hello. Yes, he's still alive. Oh, yes. Oh, my gosh. Well, then, off we go. Oh, back in time. I know. What about? She's not going. Agatha Christie. OK. She won't go. I just can't. Yeah. Spent all these years training to be a doctor. Now I've got people to look after. They saw half the planet slaughtered and they're devastated. I can't leave them. Of course not. Thank you. <laughs> Martha Jones, you saved the world. Yes, I did. I spent a lot of time with you thinking I was second best, but you know what? I am good. Hmm. You're going to be all right. All with you. Right then. Bye. It's like my friend Vicky. She lived with this bloke, student housing. There were five of them all packed in, and this bloke was called Sean, and she loved him. Is this going anywhere? Because he never looked at her twice. I mean, he liked her. <laughs> and she wasted years pining after him, because while he was around, she never looked at anyone else. He said, get out. So this is me, Can getting out. Keep that, because I'm not having you disappear. When? That rings, you better come running, you got it? I'll see you again, mister. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, my God. Oh, it's gone. It's just gone. <laughs> oh. Oh, no. What? Oh, no. Titanic? <laughs> oh my gosh that episode was honestly devastating my face is so wet <laughs> with tears oh no 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 i have got so many things i want to talk about settle in i've got a lot to say firstly i just want to say the death of the master and having him choose not to regenerate is incredible incredible i wasn't expecting that i was expecting him to regenerate and somehow get away but he chose to die in that moment rather than just be a prisoner uh, living in the tardis but i do wonder why would he choose that and not at least try for a chance at regenerating, getting away, uh, surviving, escaping. He just decided that enough was enough and he'd had enough. I will be honest and say I'm not sad at all about the master's death, but the thing that I found so sad to me was that the doctor was begging him to regenerate, to come back. Even after all he'd done, the doctor still wanted him there. And there's a few reasons for that, but one of them would be that he was finally not alone. You are not alone. It just breaks my heart that he was so willing to have the master regenerate and still be alive just so he could not be alone, not be the lonely Time Lord. And that brings me round to the face of Bo. You are not alone, he said. And if that really was Captain Jack, the face of Bo all this time. And it, it was, it was, and that was so amazing. Because we, we met Bo and we saw that he was just this old face in a jar. <laughs> 
because Captain Jack, he could never die. He could never, he could, he could just never die, but he could always age. So the face of Bo, like millions of years old, that was him all this time. And I think that is so beautiful. I love that so much. <laughs> I've always loved the face of Bo, like from the beginning. And then seeing him die in that scene, he just looked so at peace, didn't he? You know, that, that that's Jack. And Jack finally got to die after so long. Oh man, I need to watch, I need to watch Bo's episodes again. That's amazing. That's been just an amazing revelation. And I love that so much. I really wasn't expecting to say goodbye to Martha in this one. I grew to love her. She's so smart, so clever. She's so strong and determined and brave. And she has a lot of wonderful qualities that I wish that I had as well. And I, I, I find her just so, she's so wonderful. And I'm sad to that we won't have her anymore but I also feel that we will see her again it's another situation where we've lost Rose but Rose is okay she's with her family we've said goodbye to Martha but Martha is okay she's with her family and both of them I just have this feeling that we will see them again at some point somehow some way we will see them again and I can't wait for that. But I'm also really curious as to what to expect in the next episode. Um, the next little Christmas special. Now that we've seen that the Doctor's TARDIS has been violated by the Titanic. Which is going to be so amazing. That episode. I'm really looking forward to that one. This episode was so different to what I expected. I expected going into it that we would pick up where we left off with Martha on Earth and she would have to save things right then and there. But nope, it was one year in uh, in the future and the world was in a terrible, terrible state. So I, I really loved that it wasn't how I expected it to be. And it took me by surprise, which I really enjoyed. I, I enjoyed that. So now we're going into a brand new series, series four, um, with still the 10th Doctor. Thank you. He's intact. But we're going to have to get a new companion, which is going to be exciting. But honestly, we've just got Martha. It's, it feels that like we've just got Martha. And I've just like grown to love her do you know what i mean and now i have to grow to love a new companion so for me whilst i'm excited to see a new companion i also didn't really expect to see one so soon so i'm just crossing my fingers that i will enjoy uh this next companion as much as i did martha and rose of course Guys, I really enjoyed this episode. Thank you so, so much for watching. I'll have to check if there's a mini-sode next. If so, I'll react to that and it'll be on the channel. But if not, then the next episode is going to be the next uh, Christmas episode. So following straight along from this one, if it's indeed Titanic related, or maybe that's just like a funny little way to end this series i'm not sure but we will find out but thank you guys so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed and i'll see you in the next one bye